throwing... Hi there, my friends. Hello? Alrighty. Hello, gamers! DBC Gaming, and welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Gateway. We've been waiting for this for a while. Fears to Fathom is a phenomenal game. They finally come out with their fifth episode, um, Woodbury Gateway. We're on Woodbury, Woodbury Boulevard. So, it's all about Woodbury, apparently. We're gonna figure out what Woodbury is and means. That's really cool. The lighting for that was really cool for the car coming down the road. Oh, and the car even left tire marks. That's really cool. Alright, we're gonna get right into this. I gotta stop looking at stuff. Oh, what the heck? There's a lake in the back? That's weird. Is it one, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is the fifth installment. Um, wow. You're playing episode five, playtime, two hours. All right, let's do it, babies. Let's do it. This guy, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Let's get into this. December 8th. Okay, I'm at work. Needed coffee to get done with the day. All right, oh boy. Oh boy, I'm in like cubicles. Oh! Hold on, there's a lot to look at already. Hold on. So, at this point, I couldn't continue to work. Okay, um... Wow, so... Company... Um... Interesting. We've given a lot of money to people. Interesting. Oh, that's great. Okay, there's already so much. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. Oh, there's already so much. Hold on, guys. We Give me a second. There's so much that's, here already. Okay. Pornhub.com Nothing comes up. Dang. So there are some things that they're just not gonna... Uh... It's nothing. Dang. So internet doesn't work. What is this? Type Invader Reloaded. Oh. Oh, what the heck? I understand. I understand. I have to type. That sucks. I have to type to shoot. Oh gosh, that's... I can't... I can't type? You think I can... Nah, you think I can sit here and type? That rainbow wasn't there. You think I could sit here and type? You're bugging. I can't do that. I'm not good. I'm not that good. Let's just continue because I'm definitely I'm not that good. I'm not that good with gaming. I'm not Beat child wait whoa That's a little weird That's a little weird to have don't you think? Don't you think that's a little weird there, guys? Don't you think? Alright. So I can't do that. That That's not within my skill. You can see the people on the road. This is a pretty city. Pretty, pretty city. Um, I said I wanted to leave. I needed a cup of coffee. Okay. Can't go this way. So this way it is then. Coffee over here, I'm guessing. Cheetah throw. This is so interesting. And this is the like the leaving area. What is this place? Um, I cannot read that. It's a little hard to read there. Fizz. Kitchen. There we go. Open here. 
chiller, coke. Where's the coffee? Coffee, 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 coffee. I needed water. Yes, yes, you do. Um, an empty. Okay, so empty cup. Fill the water. Put it in. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Okay, and then put the empty cup there, and then throw one of these into there, and slap it, and push go. Yeah! I can make coffee. I know exactly what I'm doing. I can make coffee. That looks very red. Need to put a lid. Lid, lid, the lid. Okay. Oh yeah, sip my coffee. Need to use the restroom. Oh, you pee you, you you sipped your coffee. Now you gotta use the restroom. Okay, so then hold on. I'm gonna throw my coffee here. Let me not. I can't even put down my coffee. You're gonna take your coffee into the bathroom with you, you weirdo. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and sip my coffee, walking in the bathroom. Uh. Any thing different? With the restrooms, no, it doesn't really matter which one I go in, okay! No dead bodies, right? No dead bodies. My hands were full. Well, maybe if you would drop your goddamn coffee, they wouldn't be. And I can't even get into the men's room. So maybe I'm a girl? do it with the door right away. So I must... So it's showing... It's literally showing me that I'm a girl. Very interesting. Because in every other game we've played, you've been a guy. I don't trust opening this door. <gasps> Woo! Hi! Who are you? So sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. You didn't... hear me? You didn't hear me. Um... It's okay. I like to cl I like to clean latte before- <laughs> before it's pretty quiet at this hour you working late again huh yeah well you young folks sure to do put in the hours make sure you take care of yourself you too I meet a lot of late night workers, but you're one of the most dedicated ones here. Thanks. I love how the game, when you look at like their faces, it's always almost like a JPEG picture thrown onto the model, which I always love. I don't know why, but I love that style for um, this game. It's a great style. There's someone here. Hey, what's up? What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Checking in to see if you need anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? I know. What keeps you here so late again? Finalizing the report. Um, you got enough? Yeah, I've got enough on my plate right now. Okay, fuck off you too then. I was gonna sip my goddamn coffee. Um... Oh, I'm out of my coffee. Throw my coffee. Um. There's a phone call. Someone's calling me. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, I hear you. Hello. Hello. 
Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah, cheer um, me up. About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. No worries, Harper, I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Sure. You no, know, save on gas and relive the yeah. good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I could just hang up. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Yeah! Remember that little cafe you found on our trip to Oregon? The Nook Cafe. Yeah. I miss those days, Harp. So we definitely dated! Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Anyways. I needed to book the cabin. Oh. Oh, now it won't let me type. So whatever I put in, now it's going to automatically put in what I'm supposed to be. Interesting. Very interesting. Where are you going? Uh, Woodbury. Good old Woodbury. Oh god, 3.50 a night. Peaceful cabin. 240 a night. 199 a night. 99 a night. 199, 250. So, this is the only one. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Private cabin in Woodbury. I do want to know something because this is obviously the, 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 the house from, you know, the, 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 the game, the trailer, and everything. But what would happen? Can I go? I can't even go back. I was gonna say, if I went back, what would happen if I picked another house? But I can't. Your booking has been confirmed. Alrighty. Hey, I'm assuming you got hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown on something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but it was rushed. Okay. Lighten me. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was con a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The, the job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental pace. My mental peace, not pace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. Rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and then be back on Monday. 
Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. All right. Mike. What's up? Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? Yeah. I've seen you around, but haven't had the chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you... How do you know? I've seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Uh, me, I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm. Oh, I see. Anyways. I hope you have a great rest of your day and need some... Need to get some groceries before the snow start. You too. Hey. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator. Oh. Uh. Oh, pulling into the parking garage now. Ah, so that's Mike. I, dude, I forgot my goddamn suitcase. I didn't realize that, you know, I needed that. Ah, there we go. Grab my suitcase. You know, oh, that's so cool, and you can see other people moving and stuff. What's up, dickhead? Harp. What's up? You look ugly. That's still how you hug people? Why didn't you hug me like you missed me? Just to, just to test to see what your hug smelled like at first. Chuckle, fair enough, but for the record, I shower just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Lol. You look good. Uh, so do you, Mike. You can just throw stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright. I don't know if I... Alright then, Harp, were you ready to hit the road? Let's do this! Assuming we're going to pick up Nora. That's why I didn't ask, but it's probably great. And how is Nora going to fit in this two-person truck? Wait a minute, maybe I should have asked. Because how the... 4.26 p.m. How the heck... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's Nora? It was starting to snow. 50... Oh, love the music! Love it! What's up? Harp, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now we're here we are? Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live? Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to a new job. Uh, speaking of jobs, how's your graph drawing? Working on this project that used the machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. I know I never understood what you do consultants even do. We consult. That sounds like... important work. It is. We consult. Is that not good enough for you? Up you ever miss college? Sometimes. I've got mixed feelings, too. I'm glad we bought us together. Yeah, you, me, and Nora. Yeah. Where is Nora? Uh, it's 5 p.m. I haven't received confirmation text from you. Just wanted to check and make sure everything was okay. The road near... What the fuck? why did it just... Did you see that? See what? It was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into an, a tiny home or wheel, on wheels or something. I've read people to do that on the internet. Yeah, people do it all the time. Near five, cops mission test. Want to check if you make sure everything's together. World new world, but it can be a little dangerous. Not please, no. Thanks, Rick. We're on fast. Should be there. SX. Okay. Where is Nora? Where is Nora? <gasps> Dear. Oh snap! That came out of nowhere. I, you know, I read on the internet that, that in Native American lore, you seeing a deer crossing your path is likely getting a message from your the universe. 
You know what my message from the universe is? Where is Nora? Because there is supposed to be another person. There's nobody here. Uh, where is Nora? How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know? Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the... Intelligatic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies resting past us. Kind of beautiful. It is, it is, it is. Oh, the music is what's beautiful. Oh. Got a little eerie there at the end. 514. Oh, uh, did we make it? Dairy Mart. And there's the motel. Yo, Harp, check that out. Most pizza? Ah, most pizza! Yoink! We hitting a pizza place? Alright, let's do it. You know, you know, Harp, I gotta tell you, there's a new GPS system or something else. This pizzeria is actually where it appeared on my GPS. Like living on the future. So hungry, I think I could eat my whole pizza to myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, where's Harp? There's still no Harper. Or Nora. I'm Harper. There's no Nora. Where's Nora? God damn it. Um, pawn shop. What are you waiting for? I'm looking at the scenery. Fuck off. Oh, thanks. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Uh, Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. That's... Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Why are they animated? Get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said I'm freaking that game. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should cool off. Yo, those news guys are a dickhead. Um, interesting. Anyways. What's up, Mo? Are you Mo? Evening, folks. Looks like the cold got everyone craving pizza tonight. I'm sorry. I just got a whole stopped in my... I just heard in the background something about you need a fucking... Wow. These news guys are wild right now. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Wait a minute. Get my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be Is that queso? Commercial break. I'm pretty- wait a minute. I just sat there and listened to the news for a second. I'm pretty sure that was queso. Evening, folks. Looks like Cole. You got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find- uh, fine folks know what you want to eat. Well, I'll get three slices of cheese, so go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. For you, miss. Cheese. Margarita and most special. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us just a pizza today, thanks. Alright then, six hot, hot slices coming right up. It'll be $22.50. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll be nice. Your order number is 27. Grab a seat and when you call, your pizza's ready. Okay. Uh. Ah, oh, you sat. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Uh, yes, yes it does. Uh, 
We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. All right. Hurry up, Nora. I'm not liking this dude. Just listen to Nora's voice messages in the group. Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. Guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know I'm talking about. I really don't. Order number 27, you folks are right here. Alright. I don't want to get raped, so give me my pizza. Yo, 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 you want to die? You want to you wanna fight? Fucking walk into me. Who, the, who you walking into? Give me my pizza. Thank you. Alright, folks, you're all set. Thank you. Pizza! Yum, yum, yum. I am the loudest eater. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. It does! Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? Like, damn. Munching that pizza. That munch is right in my ear. Not even gonna lie. Right in my ear. I definitely want to go back and look that up because I'm pretty sure the news man because I started listening to the news because they started like throwing Hi there my friends. Hello? I sure I'll put dry uh, put in driving. That's a nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and out taking notes? Not at all, my friend just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. Don't mind if I had tried with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me, but in a bit of adventure, I'm just hiking the trails and seeing the country. Uh, what do you all say? Care if I give free spare ride down? I'm not sure. Surely you can just find a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. My friend's car. You gotta be shitting me. Lady, no space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Bitch, it's his car! Ask him! You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. Be best careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, dead ass, because it's his fucking car! It's his truck! It is his truck! Suck me! No, 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 you all got me wrong. I'm sorry, just cold and tired, that's all. Yeah, thanks. Mind melting music, you should listen. Well, that was weird. Yeah, you think? You should have answered. It's your car. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all these years, are still that same old harp. Yeah, and you still didn't talk. You just sat there munching on your pizza. Nom, nom, nom. Doing nothing. As I, this dude walked up to me, and I was supposed to answer for you? Like, what if I told him yes? Would you have been mad? Because it's your car? I assume he would have, right? I assume he would have been mad because it's his car. Damn, Arp, you actually eat the crust? Kind of a waste not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? This motherfucker sits there eating his fucking bologna sandwiches and doesn't eat the goddamn crust. Have an ass. Like, yes, I'm eating my goddamn crust. It's the best fucking part. And if any of you have a fucking problem with that, please comment in the comments. Because how are you gonna not eat the crust of your pizza, but yet the pizza was perfect feel for the last leg of our trip? Uh. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh. Burp. Um... How? Like, you're so dumb, what do you mean? Like, eat, like, are you gonna eat an orange peel? Like, no, are you gonna eat a fucking banana peel? But are you not gonna eat the fucking crust on your bread? I'm sorry, people that don't eat the crust on their sandwich is weird. Drive slow, don't worry, I'll make sure your heart sets up to let, stays up to let you- Okay, gotcha. 
All right. Well, that was our puzzle. Nice saw. Holy, that was good. All right, then are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys! Park weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive. I'm going to drive so you can take a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Just give me the key so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? The condition is this dude sitting here running into you. I get the first choice to bad to run, we get there. Whatever. Take the keys. Yeah, I want to drive, motherfucker. Let me drive. Let me drive. Let me drive. Thank you. L let me drive. Yeah, let me drive. Give me this bitch. Let me drive. Let me drive this bitch. Like I said, when I was like, I literally started listening because they were banting at each other. They were throwing jokes back and forth at each other. And the moment I started to hear them really go at it, 549. Like, I heard his voice and I was like, wait a minute. Being Vermont, this is your host on WKWB. Your hometown station bringing yeah. you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. Yeah. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So, oh, it is kind of hard to drive in. Feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Altus. Stay warm and stay tuned. Stay warm and stay tuned. Oh, fuck off. Don't honk at me. I don't wanna talk about this on the ride. Or pitch me up on yes. the I like. I've been reminiscing on friends and this maybe I can find Woodbury is this way. Oh wait. Woo! I told you driving the snow was no joke. That's alright, man. That's alright. I crashed Mike's truck. <laughs> we won't talk about it. Yeah, I know. We missed the turn at first. I wanted to see. What's down here? But if it's it's not gonna let me. Check out backup. Are you okay? Do you want me to take over? No! I'm backing up, you dickhead! I know what I'm doing. I know how to drive. Your truck just sucks. Your truck's engine is also eating the snow right now. For no reason. Skrrr. I wanted to see if there was anything down that way. Obviously, not uh, nothing other than me crashing. Step into my room, leave with bloody lips, saying that she. That was creepy. Those are some abandoned buildings. Walk over the mountains, find a new home, away from where the town is. I could spend a year alone and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. I know that I'm weak, need more love inside my heart. Didn't want to change, but I think that I did it. This is good great. I already start. love this game. I already love it. Good time I, I love the, the how they do the driving in this game. Start. It's such a vibe. It's so good. I ah. Uh... Sunset dreams of the nights that I never knew. Heart feels warm, the trees only seem to bloom. And I laughed, running all the way to you. It's ah, place. we made it to Woodbury. Town don't want me here. Where's my lunch money? Where's my gym clothes? I will never here it know. is. Where's a good girl? Doesn't wear a mask. Where's a best friend? The Here we are! I like fell asleep one, one second. Monsters, I feel it happens, man. But I told you we'd be fun. I told you I could drive. It was a very cold night. I had a quaint little house. Wow. This is great! This is great! I love this. This is great. This is great. My back hurts. Yeah, mine doesn't feel great either. Let's go and really need to let... Let's just hurry up. Okay. Well, um... Dorozak had to get the key from the lockbox. 
key from the lockbox. Um. Oh. Glad to open. Uh. Internet. Uh. 5176. 5176. There we go. Give me that key. Alrighty. We made it. Let's go. We in. I'm throwing my shit. Oh, what a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells nice in here, too. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. That's pretty cozy and well furnished. Checked in. Enter the cabin. I have checked in. Put the stuff in the fridge. Had to open the cooler first. No shit. Ah. Uh. Uh. Milk. M didn't ask to close. Milk. Those. Eggs. Those. Bell papers, Letius. I'd close the fridge before picking up. Okay. Bro. He's getting out of the bathroom. Hey! Woo, sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? I'm driving all that pizza really did a number on me. Uh, well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. I mean, this place looks crazy nice. You got that rustic charm just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Smell alone told me Pizza had already done a number on Mike. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I feel like something's about to... Tape to text Rick. Okay, we've checked in. All checked in, all good. Alright. Oh shit, hey. Walk through the door, why don't you? What are you doing? You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. Story to check out the place? Sounds good to me, after you. We got the freaking living room up in this bitch. For that dog, along with the purchase of some living room is bigger than my apartment, right? For that same dog. One year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only 299.99 a year. We offer dirt cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor. Little computer room. Ouija board. Oh, that's great. Tower stack, chess, Monopoly, Catopoly. Um, Dragon's Labyrinth, Snakes and Ladders, Star Titan Force, Atari. Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Is your night- Shut up. Um. What's in here? Oh, nope. We don't go down there. Fuck that. This is- the backyard. Backyard fire, backyard fire. Backyard's fire, backyard's fire. Creepy, creepy. Probably really nice like fishing. Can be fun. Why'd you close the door on us? Don't do that. Okay, move. Mike. Okay. 
What is this? Is this the lake? It is. The lakeside view. Wow. Wait, isn't that the bridge we came down? It's been a while since we've been fishing, actually. Me too. This is interesting. It's a nice little, nice little spot. Nice little spot. Definitely a nice little spot. Nice little spot. Uh, closet. Flashlight. That's always helpful. Go that right there. Back porch. Nice, nice, nice. Too bad we're not for long enough to do laundry. I thought you hated doing laundry. Um, what the hell? This is cool as shit. Oh my gosh. I love this. Those those shower cabin vibes, cabin vibes, cabin vibes. Cozy little room, cabin vibes, cabin vibes, cabin vibes. I call dibs on this one. All yours. Go ahead, man. <laughs> what the fuck are you?